This is the final night. It was so fun. We don't want to go to bed yet. Hello everyone. Welcome to the third and final part of our first time in Ireland. We are going to spend two days in Galway exploring the Latin Quarter with a little bit of partying. And then we're going to take a day trip to Inishmore where we'll take an eight kilometer bike ride to an old fort that was built in the Bronze Age. If you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe button. It helps push the video out to others who might be wondering like you, is this trip right for me? Okay, let's get to it. The checkout at Muckross isn't until about 10 or 11 a.m., but we wanted to get to Galway early because our entire Friday was going to be on Inishmore and the drive was about three hours long from Killarney. Bye-bye, pretty hotel. I literally just saw this car pull in here and decided I wanted to do it. It's off the road right there. That's it. <laughs> A lot of these around? Uh, I think this is just the one. Okay, that's awesome. So you say cash or cards? Card. About six weeks to get together. It took us about four hours to get from Killarney to Galway, including stopping for lunch, which unfortunately also fell victim to the lost footage hard drive failure. Watch our last video for a full explanation. Even though we stopped for lunch, we were still too early to check into the Galway Bay Sea View Apartments, which is where we rented. While we're waiting to check in, we're just walking around a little bit to kind of get our bearings. And this beautiful beach is just right across the street from our apartment. Galway is absolutely beautiful. Once we got there, we realized just like Killarney, we wish we had a few extra days to stay. Here's a diving spot that people jump on. Uh, we elected not to. The apartments we rented, they're self-service apartments, so you check in using a kiosk, which is why we couldn't check in early. We also need to scan our passports in order to get our keys and log like all the visitors that we're going to be staying. The apartment was beautiful with an amazing view, and we'll definitely post a full video tour later. Parking is tight. Even navigating the parking garage was a super nasty. And then it took me about a solid 60 seconds just to squeeze into this tight little parking spot. We just sat down for dinner in the Latin Quarter. We're at Quay Street Kitchen. We had tried to go to Black Hat Jazz, which you know I love that name, over by where we're staying. But they were totally booked the entire evening, so we decided to wind our way over here and it's a vibe. This restaurant is kind of packed, but luckily when we walked up, someone was leaving, so it was perfect timing for us to grab table. This place is right on the main street in the Latin Quarter, so great vibes and excellent people watching. Got the messy board. Just finished the calamari. Absolutely delicious. Gluten-free batter. Bam. On to the next. Here's our score for Quay Street. If you're staying in this area, obviously the walkability will be better. I did not like my main as much as the appetizers though. We have a pretty early morning, so we decided to do a quick scope of the bars before turning in for the night. And as you can see, the vibes are immaculate. Started Friday by grabbing a quick coffee downstairs and then braiding Ashley's hair per usual before we took the boat for an Inishmore day trip. We made it on the ferry. Parking was a hot mess express. <laughs> we went to exactly where it said to go park and the gate wouldn't let us in. So I had to press the intercom and call and say, hey, we booked online yesterday and pre-booked. And then the numbers didn't match up. So after we got on and looked at the map that they emailed us, we parked exactly where we were supposed to, but those numbers did not exist. So we're on here, we got on. We were not the last people, I don't think, to board. I think there were a couple of people who came after us. Um, but yeah, we're gonna figure out what to do. Probably gonna rent a bike, ride around a little bit, and we'll see. They have food and drinks available for purchase on board. It's a pretty lengthy ride, so you may end up partaking in that. 
and maybe bring something to entertain yourself too because it is kind of a long ride. There are plenty of bike rental places on the island and it's 15 to 20 bucks per adult bike. Some people were actually on horse and buggy tours and there's gonna be horse poop everywhere. So just be ready. We got some breakfast from a local convenience store and then we took the eight kilometer ride through some amazing spots on the island. Stop and get your photos, enjoy the scenery, just be in the moment. This place is called like Seal Lookout, I think. We didn't see any seals there, but hopefully if you go, you'll get to catch some. Once you get to the gift shop, you'll find an entrance in the back, which takes you to these ruins. The entry fee is five euros per person. Like it literally just looks like it's only a gift shop and it's a pretty hefty walk once you get past to the top, but it is totally worth it. The views are so breathtaking. I actually freaked Ashley out a little bit. I stumbled towards the edge, not realizing how close I was. And there are no guardrails. So don't be silly, but make sure you get your shots. Once we finished, it took us about 20 minutes to bike back to the ferry with no stops. It's just such an amazing ride and there isn't anything that we can really do to describe how beautiful it was. You just gotta go check it out. On the way back, they do a drive-by of the Cliffs of Moher and it takes way longer. We actually ran out of snacks because we didn't have time to eat lunch between all of our stops on the island. If you can grab your photos and move on, please do that. We had some people who were hogging the spots to take pictures the entire time. If you're looking for a more in-depth tour of the cliffs, they do have specific day tours just to check them out. This was just a bonus little drive-by on the way back from Inishmore. Final night. This is crazy and then we're heading back to the States. Getting ready to call a taxi downstairs. There's this button that you can press and it calls a taxi to location. We have no reservations anywhere. What's your tip for them? Make reservations. <laughs> because eating is such an event here, it is important to have those reservations. So we're gonna just go into the Latin Quarter and see if we can find somewhere to eat. And enjoy this last night. There is no rideshare app in Galway, but the driver we had was super nice and he gave us some great tips for our night out. And yes, they do take card as well as cash. We did have a vehicle, but we knew we planned on drinking, so we left it at the apartment. Since we couldn't get in at Ruben, we went to this place called Wa Sushi across the street. They were a little confused on our orders, so it took a super long time to get my food. And it wasn't super allergen friendly on the rolls. We started off with some drinks though, which were pretty good and probably the highlight of this spot for me. I think what they thought was that we were splitting both of the plates, even though I said I couldn't have the first one because it had gluten in it. So at this point, I was actually kind of just irritated and I just wanted to eat my food. We've been waiting for a long time, so wanted to go enjoy the rest of the Latin Quarter. All right, back to the Latin Quarter. The last night, it is a bumping. While we were there, there was also this really awesome arts display installation thing that was super fun to check out. So look around, there could be some really cool cultural things going on. Some people we met the night before actually recommended we check out the King's Head. When we went, it was a little bit early for the live music, so we just ordered a drink and checked out the vibe. It is super cool in here. If you're going to make like one stop for the night, one long stop, definitely recommend trying this place out. What's your Guinness? You can't split the G and the E, it's okay, it's okay. After about 20 minutes there, we wandered over to this place that was four bars in one. It literally had four different entrances. Depending on the vibe you're looking for will determine what part of the bar you should be hanging out in. 
the upper part was mad young so after we stayed up there for like five minutes we quickly migrated downstairs to a more mature vibe they had so many drinks here and they even had a whiskey bar connected to this place I got something that tasted like cotton candy, blueberry, deliciousness. I don't know what it was, but it was great. And mainly got a whiskey. It was Friday night and there was no shortage of live music happening in the Latin Quarter. We dropped in on a few places, but this was definitely our favorite. There was lots of dancing, there was lots of drinking, and so naturally, you can imagine, this is another top tier vibe spot for us. We got a couple of rounds here and it was extremely enjoyable. The only one potential Depending on if you don't like a ton of people around, it was extremely packed, like shoulder to shoulder. We were doing our final walk around before trying to be responsible adults and get home by 11. Our flight was in Dublin the next morning, a few hours away. I heard music coming from this place. And I was like, let's just go check it out for one drink, right? For one drink, obviously. Famous last words. It obviously turned out to be more than one drink. They had dancers dancing on the bar, apparently their first time back since COVID. And there was a really fun DJ and a lot of open space for dancing until it started getting a little more crowded around midnight. Manly, of course, made some new friends and now they're obviously mutuals on Instagram. Spent a really long time drinking and dancing. At this point, I just gave up on any hopes of having breakfast plans in Galway and decided that this was a party night. Let's get a few more drinks in. You can have breakfast anywhere, but how many times can you go dancing in the Latin Quarter? This is the final night. It was so fun. We don't want to go to bed yet. Instead of walking back, I zoom, like I hit the zoom. Sorry. Instead of instead of driving back, we decide to walk back. So we're just walking back to the Airbnb. It's about a 30-minute walk. We'll get some rest, and then we'll be on our way in the morning. Saturday morning was a rough one, but it was totally worth it. Like I said, you could have breakfast anywhere, but we had a really wonderful night out in the Latin Quarter in Galway. Our drive back to Dublin was about two to three hours. We had a coffee stop, and that means we're at the end of this video and the end of our three-part series for our first time in Ireland. It was amazing, and we cannot wait to be back. Check out part two of our trip in the description, where we went to Killarney, drove the Ring of Kerry, and spent four days at Muckross Park Hotel and Spa. Hey, when you finish with that one, you can hit up part one, where we spent three days in Dublin exploring the pubs and the arcades and drinking some whiskey. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. It really helps support our channel. And you don't want to miss our next trip, which will be to Disneyland, Manly's very first trip to a Disney resort. And don't forget, we take the trip so you can decide whether or not you want to.